What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys, I want to talk to you all about is the Xbox Series X and it really seems like it is actually more powerful than what the PS5 is going to be. So let's just kind of go straight into it and look at the specs. So the CPU is 8 Zen 2 cores at 3.8 gigahertz or 3.6 gigahertz with an SMT. The GPU is a 12 teraflops and 52 computing units at a 1.825 gigahertz with a custom or DNA2. Now the memory is going to be 16 gigabytes with a GDD or 6 and the storage is 1 terabyte custom NVMe SSD. The optical drive is a 4K UHD Blu-ray and the console actually supports 120 FPS with a potential 8K resolutions, ray tracing technology, variable rate shading for more stable rates, frame rates and all of this is compatible with the Xbox One accessories. So any accessories that you have, say a headset or whatever else, controllers that you have with the Xbox One, you will be able to use them with the Xbox Series X. Now the Xbox Series X seems more to be tailored towards their fans. For example, people on both PlayStation and Xbox consoles want backwards compatibility to play old school games. Like I'd love to be able to play Black Ops 2 because by far in my mind it's the best best Call of Duty game ever made which it is and 120 FPS now I like what Microsoft are doing they're actually taking things from their computers and trying to put them into the consoles and it's extremely smart and I feel like Xbox could actually win the next generation of console war however just like I said in my last video about crossplay this is kind of the new big thing now happening but it's slowly but surely happening and i think it won't actually matter which console you actually have so say if you're on xbox and i'm on ps4 or playstation 5 or whatever we can actually play with each other and we can talk in game depending on which con which game we are actually currently playing and you know crossplay is a huge thing and I know a few people on Xbox that I have been able to play with on Call of Duty because of the crossplay me being on PS4 them being on uh, Xbox and you know it's it's been fun we've been able to go back and forth and everything yeah we have to talk in game chat but you know it's it's a it's a compromise you know and we can do it and it's it's decent like it if the game chat was better it would be a whole different ball game it really really would now i'll actually be doing another video on something like discord that i want to kind of see if that would ever work but yeah that is today's video guys if you did like it please hit the like button if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button right beside the subscribe button. There should be a notification bell. If you hit that, you will stay up to date whenever I upload to the channel or even whenever I go live on the channel, which is going to be rare because I tend to do that on Twitch. Now, speaking of Twitch, link down in the description below will bring you to my Twitch channel where I try and live stream at least once to twice a week. Now, because of the virus and everything, I'm going to try and stream more. And it'll be mainly Warzone, Apex, maybe even some Minecraft even. I'm not really sure about that yet. Uh, when you're there on my Twitch, you can hit the follow button. And right beside the follow button, there will be a notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live. Now, I also have a Twitter, which I manually update as well. And link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button you don't have to hit the notification bell because then you'll just get notified whenever i like tweet random shit or even when i tweet an upload or when i favorite something or retweet something that kind of stuff and you know that kind of really really annoying so people don't really want that but yeah 
How's it, guys? Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.